Hello, my name is Nitin Uzgare. I hope uh, now till now in the past four videos we have seen the entire user interface of Veka and the four applications available in the Veka for the different purpose. Right. Today we'll see how we can use this application effectively for different uh, machine learning task. Right. So. Preferably, we use the Explorer application as its graphical user interface is very easy to understand, right? So today, we'll use one of the classifier, that is the probabilistic classifier, the probabilistic machine learning algorithm for data processing. So I'll import the data, same way. I'll use the iris data set. So go to the classification tab and in choose, you will find the base classifier, okay? So these are some base classifier. Out of this, I'll use the new base classifier. We know that a new base classifier is widely used for classification task. And this is a best example of a probabilistic uh, machine learning modeling, right? where we will find the prior probabilities, the posterior probabilities, the maximum likelihood, and so on, right? I'll use this option percentage split, and its percentage will that I want is 60%. So this clearly instructs the VEKA that split the input data set file into 60 and 40%. 60% instances will go into the train data set file and 40% instances will go into the test data set file. But here, the classifier will perform the test on the test data set. So click on start and see. So the evaluation is on test split, the time build, time required to build the model by the VEKA is 0.01 second. So here, uh, total number of instances that comes in a test data set file is 60. Out of that, 56 instances, they have been correctly classified and four instances have been incorrectly classified. Thus, the accuracy that we have achieved for this uh, data set is 93% and the error rate is 6.66%. These are some other performance parameter values, true positive rate for CETOSA class, false positive rate for CETOSA class and similarly this is the true positive rate for versicolor and this is the false positive rate for versicolor, precision value, recall value, F measures and the ROC area value. And this is the weighted average, this fourth row is basically a weighted average for the true positive rate of all the class and so on. This is the confusion matrix, again we have seen in the previous video how, the, how to interpret this confusion matrix. As I told you previously, each column it represents the class and each entry in this column represents the correct cl uh, classified instances and incorrect classified instances. So 17 instances, they have been correctly classified which belongs to Setusa. There are total 21 instances which belongs to uh, versicolor class but out of this 21 instances, 20 instances have been correctly classified and one instance is misclassified. There are total 22 instances belongs to Virginica class. Out of that, three instances is misclassified and 19 instances is correctly classified. So to see the error, just go left click on this model and click on visualize classifier error and this is the error. So you can increase the jitter in order to see this incorrect classification. well. So there is no misclassification in the Setosa class as you can see, but there is some misclassification. One instance is uh, misclassified in uh, versicolor class, not one instance. Uh, we'll just click on it. This, this square indicates the misclassified instance. This is, that is the error. Yes. So the instance number 10 it is misclassified. Basically, it belongs to uh, versicolor class, but it is identified as 
or it is classified as virginica so this is a uh, error in vesicular and uh, this is again uh, error instances or misclassified instances there are total three misclassified instances in virginica so when you uh, right click on it okay so this is the instance number 2 is misclassified uh, its predicted class is versicolor but it is actually belong to virginica right well this is one this is other this is the instance number 25th again its predicted class is versicolor but its original class is virginica and this is the last that is this is the instance number 48 its predicted class is again versicolor by the classifier but its original class is virginica so total there are four misclassified instances and remaining 56 instances they have been correctly classified which belongs to the different three classes right this is the error statistics now we will similarly see <coughs> how to perform the clustering algorithms on the data set so you go to the cluster tab and click on choose you can find that there are different clustering algorithms a very widely used clustering algorithm is a simple k-means so I will use this algorithm and just click on start and here you can find the cluster output window for this classification so this is uh, the relation is iris the class that we have used is the Euclidean distance simple k-means class and these are its argument the total number of instances is 150 attributes are 5 and test mode evaluate on the training data set remember by default this option is enabled and we have not modified this option while running a k-means algorithm on a iris data set well so this is the results the number of iterations uh, for this is 7 so within cluster sum of the square error is calculated at 62.14 remember we know that there are the certain iterations in the k-min so total number of iterations for this classification is 7 sorry clustering is 7 and the sum of square, square error within cluster is calculated at 64 62.14 these are the <coughs> cluster centroids so cluster centroids for these are the cluster centroids for iris setosa class with respect to each attribute these are the centroids of versicular class with respect to these four attributes and these are the centroid of setosa class with respect to each attribute now finally here we got the two cluster cluster 0 and cluster 1 and here you can see you can observe that there are 100 instances in 0th cluster whereas there are 50 instances in cluster 1 so this is how we can use the VEKA VEKA's explorer application effectively for the classification as well as for the clustering task remember the in machine learning there are two types of tasks supervised learning task and, a, uh, and a unsupervised learning task so navy based navy based classifier is an example of a supervised learning task whereas a k-means clustering is the example of unsupervised lusty, uh, unsupervised learning thank you i hope you understood this concept see you in the next video where we will discuss on the some of the algorithms used for association rule mining thank you